Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Olivia. How are you all doing? In today's video, we are going to continue working on the um, color along for a page uh, from Botanical uh, Botanicum. And last time, the first video, which is kind of like the first part of the colors along, I did show you guys how to do the bokeh background. Uh, with the polychromo pencils and so uh, to continue that video um, we're going to finish everything hopefully in this one I'm going to speed up some of the parts and just show you um, one or two like example um, just like demonstration how I color in but um, I was kind of speed up so we can go through a whole lot more now I'm going to continue using the polygromo for this one because uh, I know a lot of you guys really interested in you know using the um, uh, polygromo so yeah without further ado let's get started okay so I want to do the flowers first and as you can see this flower is pink um, I wanted to do yellow at the start but I think pink will really make it pop out a little bit more because we have the green and the blue at the back um, so pink is a complementary to the you know the blue and the, the, the green so for doing the flowers it's actually quite easy and I'm just going to use um, this one this pink one they're going to be maybe five four five colors for the petal um, you don't necessarily need all of these colors uh, for example this little one right here a very small flower not very very small but like this smaller flower um, and so if you do the gradient which is the technique that we're going to use uh, for these petals um, then you don't really need a whole lot of colors because they have smaller space for a bigger one for example like this one or like this one I would recommend you add a little bit colors in the middle uh, like a, the middle colors and to help it um, look blend smoothly so let's start off first with the middle purple pink and I'm going to do this one right here because it's easier to see so you can see the petal is going I'm going to do the gradient dark down here and then as it go toward the tip of the petal it's going to be light you can absolutely do the other way you can do any other colors that you like as well so you don't necessarily need to do these colors okay so I'm going to just lightly put down and just use uh, light to normal presser there is no need to press the pencil and you can see I'm just bring it out almost like a little bit more than halfway and I'm going to leave a little bit at the tip to un uncolor so I can add a tip a lightest color there which is uh, the ivory um, I like the ivory in this set uh, in the polygromo if you don't want to use the ivory or you don't have it uh, you can use white to blend out as well or you can use really light pink um, this one the light magenta or you can use uh, combine other color from your other pencil set that you have which is lighter uh, if they have lighter colors like the prisma color I remember they have a really light pink I think it's called deco pink they have tons of light pink there so I'm going to just do it all the petal so you can see 
what it look like when you're adding in the color so no need to press a lot of layer or anything very simple now I'm going to use the light magenta and what I'm doing is I don't necessarily uh, add more of this color in but I just soften the purple middle uh, middle purple pink just soften it so it really light and it's almost like look blended into the white will be like easy uh, foundation for you to adding in the ivory later that's what I'm going to do and see it very very light and nice uh, that's why I say you don't really need the ivory if you don't want to use it okay now I'm going to use the magenta and for the magenta I mostly concentrate really close to the bottom here so mostly going to be down here and I also going to do a little bit of flicking motion like that so give the flower a little bit texture um, when you look at the petal you sort of see like I would say like like vein color vein on the petal little bit down here as well You can see it bring it make the flower a lot darker and it blend everything nicely now I'm going to use the red violet again all the color will be listed in the description box down below the video uh, so you can find the color there now I'm going for this one I'm just adding like just a little bit right just around here so the darkest area I don't bring these colors out as much okay. now I'm going back in with the middle purple pink and I just blend out to using the flick motion so you don't intervene with all the layer that you already make it nice and smooth it just sort of like blend out a little bit more add a little bit more pink and just add a little bit more uh, texture Now I'm going to use the ivory now and I just pretty much color it in. Only the tip. I don't want to bring it down too much because I want to keep down here. It's nice and dark. You can also do like, remember how I usually show you the technique that you put less 
color one or two less color in your color combinations and make the it's a lighter combinations you can do that make some of the flower darker or lighter than other colors I'm just going to add a little bit that way. there you go so that is your flower very simple right very simple but then it's look very effective now for the stem I'm going to use light green what I do I just put the other color just a base and you see I leave this uh, bit on the top because I don't want to color them okay and then I just color the base color for the stem now I'm going to use the chromium green opaque and I just add it down here the top and bottom and I add a little bit on the side on the edge see so it have a little bit dark but it have a little bit light too now for up here I do the same I do a little bit on the top and you make that the border now I'm going to use a little bit of the leaf green and I just color add it in it's a bit more brighter green going on Now I'm going to use the walnut brown and I'm going to make it even darker mostly in this area down here where it's had more shadow there I think that's good enough hmm okay so that is how I did the whole flower. Does look really, really nice and lovely. Now I'm going to um, continue to color in this one, and then I'll show you how you can do the middle.
Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can do, uh, how you can color the inside, the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'll turn it into like a brown colors. And we're pretty much going to cover it like this. So um, it doesn't really matter much, but I use a little bit of dark navel uh, ochre. And I just pretty much adding down. A nice flat layer like that and then I'm going to use the walnut sprayer and I'm going to color in the area is going to be dark so mostly a rowdy petal here there you go so pretty much symbol like that for uh, the base color now I'm going to use a little bit of white shell pen and I'm going to just gently adding down a little dot like this on top of it. So it's I kind of spacing it out a little bit as well. I don't adding all the way down to the dark area, just on top here, and you can see I'm spacing it out so you can still see the yellows and whatnots in there. And you can stop right there, but if you want to make it more extra I'm going to use a Posca pen this one is yellow um, this one is a 0.7 millimeter so it's a very tiny one and I'm going to add it in and then just draw in the there you go so this is really cute isn't it so that is the method that i use to achieve this so it looks very like hairy <laughs> it doesn't sound good but yeah now next let's do these leaves and for the leaves um these are really big i already done the small one for the small one you probably like don't need i'll show you along the way what I did now let's start off with the light green I'm going to sharpen it off a little bit right okay so I'm going to just concentrate in the middle so you basically just adding down a base layer um, a gradient I would say a gradient base layer and Just gentle add it in. I use um, probably like just normal pressures. Don't really pressing. Uh, don't really pressing the pencil. And like that side. So I mostly keep it in the middle now because it's so big. I'll show you why I mentioned the small leaf. You can just do two color for the base. Now this is a uh, leaf green, and for the leaf green, I'm going to do mostly on the outside like that, right? And you can see the leaf green is probably like two or three shade darker than the light green and for the smaller leaves like this one it doesn't really matter because you can't really see but it does make a difference with another color in the middle so that is an indicator that okay you need a middle color something in between that can blend them both nicely would just make your job a little bit easy, easier because of course you can blend these two color really nicely, and you can. And you can see for the small area, 
smaller area here um, I just laugh because <laughs> I couldn't pronounce the word properly and you can see I blend them pretty nice but for the larger area I like to draw in just another middle colors right. now I'm going to use the grass green so my grass green is a middle color and I'm going to use that right between where the two color is and just blend it in you can see they blend a lot nicer for the base right you can see they blend really lovely and I guess um, you can stop right here with the three color that's fine but I'll show you how I can add texture for this big leaf sometimes when you see these big leaves it's a little bit difficult to make them look interesting um, you can color them unusual colors like usually I do purple or pink leaves or something like that um, or blue but for this page because I already decided to do them in normal colors uh, I gotta find a way to make them look less boring right so if you think oh after you've done this if you're happy that's fine but if you're not happy you think oh it's look a bit flat so I'll show you how you can achieve these leaf kind of look right. now I'm going to use the chromium green OP this is a darker color and I'm going to use this to adding stroke texture so what I do let's do around here let's do on this side first okay so you can see I I color them I color in the edges but I also kind of flick it so I create very fine brush stroke I call them brush stroke pencil stroke So you create like a leaf, leaf vein and I'm not gonna, gonna go like all the way but I will leave some area like that just a little bit of area doesn't have anything so you just kind of break the pattern a little bit so I'm going to do that for the rest of the leaves for the bottom for right down here the end I'm sort of just color it in and now for the middle I'm first just color in first the main vein here just adding down the color first and then from there you flick L now you want to don't press your pencil too much so all the colors underneath kind of show through if you color too dark it's no point to adding in <laughs> the base layer so make sure when you flick L like this go change your so it show the middle nicely the, the base color nicely and you can see this half here compared to this half it looks so much more interesting and you only use one color and a very simple technique so you can do that as well um, for all the leaves and it looks just as nice usually I for smaller leaves or more uh, not uh, busy but like it's have more pattern on it I will use uh, the light the highlight technique where you leave the shine like different area depends I'll show you all of that technique when I do the leaf uh, tutorial colors along when you want to call them for the world of flower already also using polychromos as well so if you're interested and you want to see more way of doing leaves 
you can watch that tutorial. Now you can see it is really easy to flick uh, <laughs> upward like that, but I would want you to do the stroke along with how the leaves flow so it look more nicer than you know the straight stroke. So make sure you flick them out, not up. Okay, you have really nice looking leaves now. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of black. Um, if, you use, if you do this in other paper and you feel like the paper takes the polychromo a little bit better, go with a dark brown or like a brown color. Um, that would be a better option. But because I know it's other color not gonna show on top very nicely in the, for this paper, um, I'm going to use black for shadow and I want to add it in around here right at the bottom I'll do for this one as well and I will do around this little girl head, hat Let's have a little bit of shadow there, but I'm going quite light uh, with my hand too. I don't press the pencil, I just let it do what it want to do. So it create a little bit of shadow there. And if you want, you can always blend it back out. I use a leaf green to blend it back out. Make the shadows a little bit softer. And that's what you can do. You can also do bring a little bit of black in the middle vein make it pops out even more if you want to like this but yeah that is how I do all my leaves and once you're done it look really nice together now let's do this one I'll show you again okay so you have the light green first just color it it doesn't matter if it's dark or not um, if you want your leaves a lot darker go for another darker color uh, start off with maybe start off the grass green as your lightest color and gradually adding more darker color um, but don't I don't is I don't recommend put too much pressures on this paper because it just doesn't like it. I did this book. I think it was it this one, yeah. I did it using um this page. You can't really see it properly, but that Halloween page I did for the uh, colors along on here as well on YouTube. And I use I think I use uh, Prisma colors and ink tin, and they actually tag the the pencil really nicely, and the ink tin as well. I wonder if I add, I do a combinations of ink tin and Prisma color uh, and Polychromo, it will be better. But we can try that. <laughs> it's look like that. I don't I don't really care <laughs> grass green let's blend the edges I 
Now for this technique, for this technique of coloring leaf, I kind of like it because you don't really have to be careful. It's good for when you have paper that doesn't like to take your pencil or doesn't like your pencil. Um, it makes it a lot easier. Just blend it all out with the light green. You don't have to be really careful with the base color as long as it's nice and smooth and even that's fine you can see here a little bit not unblend it's not gonna cause too much problem because we're gonna add other colors on top okay chromium green I pick and in there the texture look nice <laughs> I really like that even that look really nice even that you don't do the middle I'm just going to turn the book a little bit so be easier for me to do the stroke on this side because you know like how I want going here so I have to really like bend my hand There you go. So uh, let's add a little bit of black too for the shadow here. Hmm. Okay, I'm really happy with that. There you go, so now you have all the leaves. I think I really love that look. Now let's do the frame. Um, it's really easy, so I'm gonna show you. Well, let's do the flower first, the flowers right here. Okay, so for the smaller, smaller leaves here, I'm going to use, uh, let's see, emerald green. And this one I'm going to use uh, the different technique. So I'm going to add the dark color on one side, two side. There you go. So you have that. Hocker green for darker shadow. One side, two side. Light green, uh, light petal green. Just blend out a little bit, and then. I'm using the light yellow glaze just at the area that you already leave it light there see so that is the leaves let's do the other one emerald green cocoa green light petal green and yellow there you go so now for the for the flower i'm going to use the cobalt blue very simple a small flower i'm going to just color in around the the bottom there you go and oh, what is it? I'm going to use the ivory and just blend that colors out 
this is pretty much it because I don't want to add too much color now for the the middle I'm going to use uh, brown oika walnut brown and you can see I leave a little bit of area I'm going to add in the ivory there if you fancy you can use your black pen which, let me see if I can I have any here uh, oh, okay. Your uh, just far liner black paint, and I just adding in little dot for the middle, and it's look really cute. Okay, so now for the frame, I'm going to zoom out now and make you see see a little bit better. Oh, that's too far. There. Now for this frame here is really really easy trust me I'm going to use the brow oika first and I'm just pretty much adding down colors now I leave the middle so the dark color on the side and the light color in the middle all right um, Dark maple ochre, right in the middle. Just colors it in. Very simple, right? And walnut brown, which is our darkest color. So I just go to add it in. Don't bring this color in too much. There. So it sort of look like gold, gold frame. So you can do up here the same as well. Show you again. Uh, brow oika. Why? Let me just do it this way so you can see my hand movement. Dark brow navel, dark yellow navel, sorry. And then one is brown. There. So now we have the frame. Uh, well, let's do our ladybugs, and I, of course, the ladybugs going to be red. Um, so I think it will really pop out of our page at the moment. It's everything really like soft and bright. Now let's do this one right here first. I'm going to use a deep scarlet red. And I'm just adding down a nice flat layer. Okay, and then I'm thinking about adding in a little bit of ivory. So, and here, there. And then I'm going to use the medium, middle, middle cadmium red. This one is quite dark. And I just make sure to add it down the bottom. And we have our black. And adding in the dot. And 
all sides the head and the neck there's not much things going on with this ladybug there so that is one let's do this one so again pretty simple the scarlet red first scarlet red yes deep scarlet red do the wings ivory I just want to make it a little bit light at the end where I would say like maybe the sun hit it a bit light um, and then middle cadmium red if you want it more darker you can either or even add a little bit maybe we add a little bit of walnut brown see what it does yeah it make it a little bit darker so if you want to you can do this um, it's not yeah it doesn't make that much different to be honest okay so black I'm going to sharpen it up And I'm going to color around, leave a little bit of highlight there. This bug is a little bit bigger, so we can have fun with the highlight. There. Okay, ivory. Okay. I should have color in these dot. Ladybug is so cute. I I never really see ladybugs in Vietnam back then when I was little. Even like when I big, I didn't really see them. And then when I come here, I always thought they like this big, like, <laughs> but they just tiny like this. So the first time I saw them. I was like, oh, they're so cute. Okay, for the wings, I'm going to add a little bit of the sky blue. Don't want to make too many color. So just a little bit of sky blue there. There. That will do. All right, let's do... Uh, should we do the gill first? Let's do the gill first. Hmm, I'm going to need some skin tone for this little girl. I, she very simple, so I don't think I need to do too much with her. So I have the light flesh in here. Um, it's, it's too bright. There. And I'm just going to color her face. I must admit that polygrome um, is better for like portray skin tone sort of they don't really have a lot of skin tone to choose from like if you just want to color flat skin tone like the, the prisma color mm. Try to see if I think I'm going to use cinnamon to make the dark. So I'm going to use cinnamon a little bit, just try another neck here, um, the ear, grab the head. A little bit of shadow on this side. There you go. I forgot to add it in the hand. Okay. I think probably 
actually it's still a little bit bright let's do the next a little bit darker hmm. what do you think uh, I'm not the best when it comes to skin tone okay now I have the dark flesh and I want to add some blush in for her because why not didn't show this much on this side and I'm thinking about using the eye the light flesh and just Blend it out a little bit more, adding in for the lips, maybe a little bit on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the black and just try and bring back uh, her face. There. I think that's alright. Oh. I'm going to use the, the black light pen and adding in a little bit of freckle. <laughs> That's so cute. I like to add freckle. Alright, now for the hair, let's use the brow oika. a gill right one as brown yeah that would do okay now for the glows I'm thinking about red as well because we have the ladybug this red so I want to do her kind of red as well. Okay, now let's do her glows. I'm going to use the deep scarlet red again. And I'm going to just color that at the bottom here. light the top now I'm going to use the middle cadmium red and I'm going to use a little bit of dark red A bit of black too, just like right on top. Cause you know, like how she hiding in the bushes. So I just want to make her have a little bit more shadow. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of the dark flesh and blend out up top here. I'm going to use the ivory to blend everything together. There. So that is the hat. And you do the same for the, the glows too. So I'm going to use the red here, the steep scarlet red here. I'm going to leave this area light because it's be easier to separate them because it's small area so I'm just going straight in with the dark red instead there. then back out with the Deep scarlet red, just a tiny bit, and then I'm going to use a, use a black right here. Okay, 
Uh, her color. Her color going to use a uh, light flash and maybe a little bit of deep scarlet red, just a tiny bit. There. So everything we done for her. Uh, I wonder should I add a little bit of white gel pen? She look like she remind me of the mushroom girl. So let's give her a little bit of dot on her head. Okay, now I wanna do these little gloves. <laughs> they look so so adorable, and I actually want to uh, give them. Um, I'm not really sure, really, what color to give them. Let's see if I can take out some colors and. We go from there. All right. So first, let's do the shirt. I want to give them some daisy pattern, um, daisy flower pattern because this look like really spring to me, and I I like like little flower patterns so I'm thinking about this one is going to be white mm -hmm. uh, actually I don't know no 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 <laughs> okay wait okay I'm going to use uh, this this yellow first and let's do with the dark chrome yellow so I'm going in with the dark chrome yellow right here and this the uh, I'm just going to colors in first for now. Like that you see I leave this spot for highlight. And then I'm going to use a little bit of dark cadmium yellow. I'm gonna make it a bit more yellowish. And then I'm oh, <laughs> then I'm going to use the ivory and blend it so we block in the highlight first then I'm going to use a little bit of terracotta just add down here where the shadow is add a neck to This side, and then I'm just going back in with the dark chrome yellow, and I blend out the terracotta, and there you have something look like this. There, and then. Mm, I wonder should we use the uh, fire liner? You can also use fire liner, but I'm thinking maybe I just use color. I just use a uh, water brow and I'm just adding in some dot down first. And I'm going to use my white gel pen and then I'm going to add in the little flower petal
So we have our first shirt look like that. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. All right, let's look pretty good. Now for the pen, um, let's do blue. Um, let's see this one. Uh, try to see if they work together. I'm gonna test the colors out. Hmm, this one work. I'm going to use that one with the uh, ivory. Uh, not ivory. Ultramarine. Oh boy. <laughs> I think my... The shabana is too full, so I'm going to have to empty. So, alright, so now for the pen, that's actually really easy. I'm going to go in with the light ultramarine first. And I'm just adding in the colors. And I'm going to use a sky blue and just blend this out. And then I'm going to use the dark indigo. Don't worry, we're going to blend these colors out a bit more. And then underneath the, uh, the pocket, so it looks like the pocket have volume. And then I'm going to use this one. This one is just an ultramarine. Oh no, this one is copper blue. Where's my ultramarine? Oh, I guess the copper blue will do. So I'm just adding in this color. Make it a little bit more blue. I'm going to go back in with the light ultramarine that we used at the beginning and I just help it to blend the dark indigo again make it darker The light, the sky light, sorry, sky blue, not sky light, and then ivory. There, that is the pen. I'm thinking about doing some stripe, but I think maybe that is enough already. I want to distress now. I'm going to make the dress 
white color so I'm going to use a little bit of cold gray 3 I'm going to just adding in shadow I'm go really light with this dress <coughs> can see I do really really light that and then I'm going to use the cold gray number four make it even a bit darker go under the pocket Around the color, <clears throat> and then I'm going to use the cold gray number one. And blend everything together. in a little bit of shadow here and inside here too there so now there's that uh, actually I'm going to use a little bit of cold gray number three and just adding a little bit on the pocket just on the side so it has some color yeah that's good I'm going to use the deep scarlet red and color color like that and then I'm going to use this one this one is just fine liner by Stedler and then I have a brow and a red here you can use any fine liner you have doesn't need like to be these um, but let's do with the brow first and well, you know what I'm going to do I'm going to draw cherries you just draw like an X pretty much That's, that's it for now. Now I'm going to use the red and adding in the two dot, two circle. Is that fun? If you feel like you don't, you're not really good with uh, doing this pattern, you can always use and um, washi tape the washi tape technique that I show you you can use that as well that's so cute The little dress that have a little cherry <laughs> now let's do for this one I'm thinking about the add another yellow right here just this towel sorry I'm going to use a dark cadmium um, dark chrome yellow sorry dark chrome yellow again dark cadmium yellow
and then the terracotta and then ivory and then I'm going to use the white but then I just do dot for this another one let's do this sock mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do red for the sock so I'm just gonna indeed add the deep scarlet red right here there and here and there then I'm going to use the cold gray number four and just adding in some shadow and cold gray number one blend everything Now for these, um, oh, that's the last one. I don't know why I forgot about that. Okay, this last one, let's do green. Should I do green or should I do like a bluish color? I think a bluish color would be good. I see. Cobalt green uh, Light cobalt turquoise Helio turquoise shadow add a few here and I just blend it out with the cobalt green again And then I'm going to use the ivory to blend the rest out. There we go. I'm thinking about adding, use a, hmm, maybe a little bit of black would do. Yeah, I'm going to use the black and I'm just adding in like the little shadow for in the area that, you know, the, uh, the clip hanger make it look like it's a indents little shadow all right okay the string go to use a brow ochre just add it in all in And then I'm going to use the brow, one a brow, and of course I just adding like for some area. There, and then adding in for the clip as well. I just adding uh, like just the bottom. I'm going to use a little bit of dark cadmium yellow and we are done so that is actually 
I want to use a little bit of may, maybe bluish. I want to give this one strong stripes. So maybe I just go use white. Hmm. I want to give it some stripe. Okay, let's bring out and see what we did. So this is the final uh, result. I really love how this page turns out. And I hope you have a fun time coloring in this one with me. I will see you soon in the next one. In the meantime, take care and happy coloring. Bye!